Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel, Trying Divine Tarot, I'm trying, I'll be doing a love reading for you today, how y'all doing, I missed you guys, sorry for the delay, I am taking personal readings now and I'm trying to manage my time a little better, so um, we're going to start off with two overall energies and see where that takes us, okay, for Scorpio in love, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, it greatly helps out my channel, thank you so much. Two overall energies for the Scorpio. Whoa! Right off the bat, somebody is hiding their fire, their passion, and desire for someone, okay? Oh my gosh, this is big time energy with the moon, a big time secret. Somebody set somebody's heart on fire, somebody set someone's soul on fire, okay? Somebody's very, very highly attracted to someone, but they ain't saying much, okay? Let's read the energy of the cards. The moon energy. Pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently, okay? So somebody feels like they will be taking action in the future. They just don't feel like it's the right time right now. Possibly by the next full moon. Um, and we'll see. You could be dealing with the Pisces or Cancerian. I know they rule that energy, but you don't have to be. Also, this could be feminine energy with the moon. Okay. And then we have fire. Let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present. Okay, so this is newer energy. Somebody wants to embrace a newer energy. Somebody, um, this newer energy is, is, is exciting you. I'm telling you, somebody's a little hot under the collar, hot in the pants. Okay. <laughs> uh, but they're not really saying much. They're not really getting that energy out in the open. So that's what's like really... Um, building that flame on the inside okay all right so let's get into it with the kipper why is the moon energy and fire energy here for the Scorpio okay. also I just feel like somebody's a little obsessed with somebody they're keeping that real I'm saying <laughs> Somebody's keeping that energy very close to their chest, okay? They just don't feel it's time to reveal. But eventually, that pot is going to boil over is what I'm feeling, okay? All right, the moon energy with fire for the Scorpio. Oh, my gosh, okay. So it says house. Somebody might be getting a visit, a pop-in, a knock at the door, okay? Um, also, this might be a tower moment when this gets revealed, okay? You know, the tower is like that, that wake up, shake up, break up, or make up energy uh, to shift things around, to break something open, okay? I think something big is about to happen or somebody has big love for somebody or somebody's changing quite possibly looking into real estate quite possibly looking to change homes to accommodate maybe that's a surprise too maybe this somebody's coming in with an offer with a little extra okay I don't know why am I feeling two? It says 20, okay? So I'm getting the, the number two out of this. So two locations or I don't know. We'll see what that is. Why is the house here for the Scorpio? Judication, okay? Judication. Okay, two and then it's at the three. Two and a three, that would be five. That would be like five oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Something about a property, some sort of contract, something. Okay, judification is justice. Is something having involving the court system? Something about 
Why is Judication in house here for the Scorpio? Let's see. I don't know if this is like a separation or a splitting of assets or because two, like, you know, one and one make two. And like a third party might have to be involved to, to split things down the center to make things fair. I don't know. You're okay. We have official paperwork here. <laughs> Okay, or somebody's like, okay, somebody being, okay, somebody might be a little obsessed, I don't know, <laughs> somebody might be going and driving past somebody's house, maybe somebody was caught doing so, um, Because this is, you know, this is like going into the court, pleading your case, the judge sitting here listening to both sides of the party, okay? Um, somebody's making a judgment call, a big judgment call or a big decision. And maybe this is the verdict. The verdict is being read, okay? The verdict is coming in. Um, maybe somebody's making a big decision to come forward and express how they truly feel to somebody, okay? Maybe they're doing it by communicating through an email, communicating like there might be something in your inbox. You may be receiving a phone call or somebody is going old school and sending someone a love letter, okay? This is a message and it's ruled by the seven. Seven is the number of heaven. So I just feel like somebody feels like they've been guided, their heart has been guided towards someone and they're going to be taking action. And this is big time news. This is a big time, big time decision, okay? That they've been hiding, that they've been festering on for quite some time. All right, one more for the Scorpio. Or somebody's going through a separation that they've been hiding. Like dealing with this issue in private. That's first, you know, I'm reading a few different energies here. Okay. All right. So we have jackpot here. Oh my gosh. Okay. So it's payout time. It's 777. It's all the cherries. It's a yes. It's a win. It's a victory. And it's let's go time. Okay. <laughs> all right. So you know what I say about this energy? Somebody's making the effort. Somebody's coming forward. You don't walk past the slot machine thinking you're going to win. Okay. Just I'm just going to walk past this slot machine and it's going to pay out. That's just not how it happens. You have to take the coin out of your pocket. You have to put it in the slot machine. You have to pull the lever and hope for the best. And once that action is made, it's a win. It's golden. It's a victory. Okay? So somebody... Somebody's making the decision. And they feel like it's a very good decision that they're making because I don't know the heart wants what it wants and somebody might be separating on having to detach from a situation so they can get what they want okay quite possibly all right for the Scorpio oh my god again <laughs> It's payout time. It's a blessing. It's the spill, baby. Here we go with great fortune. All right. This is a golden opportunity that's going to be raining down on somebody. All right. So that is the 26, 2, and the 6. That's an 8. That is the card of abundance. So somebody fell pretty hard for someone. And like I said... The kettle is boiling and it's about to whistle. All right, so let's go. All right, 
for the Scorpio. Let's throw some romance angels on this. Romance angels on the Scorpio. Oh my God, y'all. <laughs> It says true love, true love. This is the romance of a lifetime and somebody can feel that. That's why they're a little heated up right now. It says true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Okay. All right. Another one for the Scorpio. All right. So let's see. It says finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay, so maybe like I said, that's a splitting of assets, <laughs> but I feel like there's going to be some sort of shift in your finances and career. Maybe it's linked together, okay? Maybe you're making a career move that's going to increase your financial situation. Maybe a, a really amazing opportunity is going to fall right in your lap, okay? And that changes everything. And also... Maybe this is how you and your person are aligned in one way, shape, or form, okay? All right, another one for the Scorpio. Whoa. Okay. Express your love, I told you. Someone was bottling it all up. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Put the coin in the slot machine. See what happens. Okay, let it rock, let it roll. All right, let's see what else we get. What is the message between Scorpio and their person? Or what do they say in Vegas? I'm gonna put this. Let it ride, <laughs> let it ride. <laughs> All right, for Scorpio and their person. Okay. Feeling lost. I'm trying to make this work, but I feel so lost. I don't know what to do or say anymore, and it's easier just to say silence. I said it first. <laughs> All right, more for the Scorpio. Okay, my dreams. All right, this is very dreamy, too. This is very dreamy energy, you know. Somebody's going to bed at night thinking of their person. My dreams. I've been dreaming about you in my dreams. We are so free and in love. I wish I could stay there forever. Oh my gosh. Okay, another one for Scorpio. It says, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hate how much I've hurt you. I'm so sorry for all the pain I've caused. You didn't deserve any of it. Wow. Okay. Hold on one sec. Hi, Scorpio. Sorry. Okay. So uh, the final card we have out for you is Obsessed. It says, I think I'm obsessed with you. I think about you all the time. I stalk your socials and I hope I run into you when I'm out. Oh my gosh. Okay, so someone has it bad for the Scorpio. Or Scorpio, this is you. All right. We're going to get some final advice here um, and see what kind of the signs that you could be dealing with for the Scorpio. Oh my God. King Money. King Money is on the board. You could be dealing with an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, somebody that's very grounded, somebody that's very stable, somebody that loves to be in a relationship, okay? So, you know, this person built themselves from the ground up. They came from humble beginnings to build an empire, okay? This is the king of the castle. <laughs> But, um, you know, Earth energy is very comfortable in being in relationships. They're very comfortable in be, being married um, because they create their legacy that way. 
So you could be dealing um, with this earthly type energy, okay? Somebody has marriage and commitment on their mind. All right, another one for the Scorpio. Oh my gosh, okay. There could be a little bit of an age difference. I'm not sure. Um, things are just getting started here. Somebody wants to share something very sweet with you. They have a sweet little message. You know, the pages in tarot represent messengers. So this is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy with the Page of Cups here. But the Page of Cups is also known to be a daydreamer. And I know that we've had this. <laughs> my dreams. I've been dreaming about you in my dreams. We are so free and in love. I wish I could stay there forever. Okay. Also, the... The energy of the twin flame union is here, okay? So somebody is thinking about a relationship long term. There could be a little distance in between with the two of wands, but there's also the presence of the seahorses and the seahorses made for life, okay? They dedicate and they wanna commit, but that's that's energy that's here I said that's a kind of energy that's here with like the king of Pentacles <clears throat> okay more for the Scorpio okay so the love offer hasn't happened yet there's not too much conversation going on like I said somebody is the, holding their emotions pretty close to their chest but I feel like the reveal is coming possibly by the next full moon with this full moon energy here, okay? Or somebody feels blocked off or somebody's afraid of coming forward because they feel like they may get blocked. I don't know. But I just feel like whatever this is has not been revealed yet with the two swords pointing down, okay? Okay. And somebody was at a crossroads and making the decision of when and where to come forward. You could be dealing with uh, Aquarian energy, Libra energy, or Gemini energy. But maybe Gemini energy because we have the two. I mean, the Gemini energy represents the lovers also, but you don't have to. I'm just saying that because there are two of wands in this picture and then there's two of swords here, okay? I'm feeling like maybe somebody's getting cut out or somebody's being blocked so they can move forward with something else. Quite possibly, I don't know. All right, another one for the Scorpio. Oh my God, somebody's, <laughs> somebody's stuck. Somebody hasn't made, somebody's on the way of making their decision okay so there is a big choice that has to be made um somebody's waiting for all their ducks to align somebody's waiting for all the information somebody's waiting for the courage and the bravery to come forward but right now they feel comfortable in little hangman mode hanging out to see um somebody's buying their time okay until they make the move is what i'm feeling with that hangman mode all right because what's on their mind is passion fire and desire and they really want to move forward with this situation they are going to be reaching out there's a little invitation that's coming in and somebody is highly attracted you possibly both will be highly attracted to each other. But this is an invitation. This is date night, okay? This is how things all get started. And here we are with the fire. I told you, this person is really... <laughs> They're really attracted right now, okay? So um, you could be dealing with a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius but somebody's rolling in and somebody is going to be asking someone out on a date very very soon here okay i'm going to leave it there for the scorpio i hope this message helped you please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel i greatly appreciate that if you'd like to book a reading with me all that information will be in the description box below all right till next time baby dolls ciao